was a chief among the sin. And he was called Saul. And uh, he was on, on his way down to Damascus with the papers in his hand. He caught anybody calling on the name of Jesus. He'd have them pull, whoop, put them in prison or whatever. Yeah. But on his way down there, he had a mind to just tear up the church. Yeah. But there's a great light come out of heaven yeah. and blinded his eyes. Yeah. And a boy spoke to him and said, Saul, why persecute thou me? Thank you, Lord. Lord, I'm telling you, he's on the saving side today. Yeah. Yeah. He's in that business of saving people. Yeah. And anyway, they he led Paul and he went down to Damascus. Thank you, and he told him to go to a city called Strait. And he inquired for one named Ananias. Yeah. And in the meantime, the Lord was talking to Ananias. Yeah. And told him about Saul. Yes, right. Go down. Yeah. Ananias said, I've heard about him. He's a mean man. Yeah. But he didn't tell him, said he believed him. Oh, he prayed. He prayed. Hallelujah. Yeah. When he went in, they <laughs> called him and found him. He put his hand on him and said, Brother Saul. Yeah. Brother Paul. Boys, you can be brothers in this, but it takes the Spirit of God to change your life. Make up in your mind that you're going to have the Spirit of God in your life. That's what makes us change. That's what keeps you. That enemy is strong out here in this life. Hey, this revival is over. There'll be things are pulling you. That old works will try to pull you. That old man is still on his job. And don't you take Because he's old, he ain't strong. But I know one that's stronger and higher than him. And his name is called Jesus. Glory. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.